today I'm going to be doing a full review on the Flash Shoot 360 RGB Light. Hi, Taylor here with Financial Potion, where video is your financial potion. And to never miss out on a video, please make sure you're subscribed to our channel and then click on that bell so you're notified every Friday at 5 p.m. Arizona time that a new video has been uploaded. For one-to-one -one training or just to support our content, please click above and connect with us on our Patreon page. This flash shoot light is pretty cool, especially given it's only $60. I was quite amazed at all the capabilities that it has. Um, right when you open it up, I really respect the company that actually provides a good carrying case because no one wants to just carry around a box with them whenever they have a new piece of equipment to bring on set. And the cool thing is that it is split between an accessories area and then there's a spot perfectly there for the light. And so first within the accessories area, you do have a nice tabletop tripod on here. You also have in here um, a USB type C cord. So that way you can charge the light. But my goodness, that light does last quite a long time. Um, it also comes with these magnets you can put on. So you can take off the sticker and stick it to the back of the light, and then you can use the magnet. Um, I didn't put it on there just because I'm probably just gonna be using light stands for the most part whenever I'm using this. And then there's also this little lanyard if you wanted to add it to a lanyard, which is kind of cool. So this is the light, and when you turn it on, you go in the back here and you just hold that circle down. This circle dial is the dial for everything. And as you can see, I'm in a storm right now because it is the lightning scene. And you can use this dial in order to make the light brighter or dimmer. Then whenever you wanna switch your scenes, there are a total of 10 scenes, you just click that circle once. That did take me a little minute to figure out exactly how to make my adjustment. So you click it once, run scene two, which is lightning two, scene three, cinema, so someone's maybe watching TV or something in your scene, you have that little bit of the dim and flickering. We have scene four, police, ah! Scene five, which is the ambulance. Scene six, fire truck. Scene seven, fast RGB. So it's just changing into various different lights um, fairly quickly. So maybe if you were having a club scene or something like that. Scene eight is the slow RGB. So that is just a slower transition to the different colors. Scene nine, we have SOS. So maybe you're stranded on an island. And then lastly, scene 10, which I really like, is the nice candlelit light. And so if you want to have maybe a campfire scene or if you want it to look like you were reading by candlelight, I, I like how it has the inconsistent flickers. Now, if you want to get out of scenes and you wanted to get to the RGB options or just to the straight light option, you would go ahead and you'd have to then click on this dial twice. So one, two, and there we go. So. It can go all the way down to 2800 Kelvin. And then if you wanted to make it more daylight, you have to go ahead, click on it once. So you make sure that your arrow is pointed to the Kelvin and not on the light intensity. And then scroll, 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 scroll for a bit until you reach all the way up to 8500 Kelvin. So I really appreciate that it has a nice range on there. And as I said too, this is a full RGB light. And so we can make this be any particular light. If there was a light that you, or a color you wanted for your scene, you can use this small device that I'm very impressed with the battery life to find that exact color. Maybe you wanted, there you go, a green, greenish. It's a little hard to see with my setup, but there you go. There's green on a green screen, never really a good option. <laughs> Let's go ahead and mess with it more. Why don't we make it more of a muted color? So you just really can have fun with it. Um, I see, there we go, blue, blue's my favorite. <laughs> and then to turn it off, just hold that down. I absolutely love it just for the different preset scenes. Um, the amount of 
lights and just expertise I would need to make it look like there was police in the background. Um, the fact that it has the magnet, you could put this on top of a car and it could almost look like it was a little cop car. Uh, it's so cool. And for less than $100, if you're looking to do something creative with your shots and with lighting, I really do recommend this flash shoot light, the full 360 RGB light. I hope you enjoyed this review. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below.